Hi everyone and thank you for joining again. In this video I will show you how you can make this cute little granny square here. As usual we start with our slip knot and then we make eight chains. Afterwards, we make a slip stitch in chain number one. To get this little ring here. Then we chain three. These three chains will be seen as the first double crochet of the row. Then we add another chain. And now we will make 11 double crochet separated by one chain. So double crochet chain one, double crochet, chain one and so on, including the first three chains from the beginning. You should have 12 double crochet in the end, all of them separated with one chain. At the end of the row, you end the row with a slip stitch in chain number three from the beginning. This is how it should look like now. Then you make another slip stitch to bring the thread to the side because we will now always work in the chain area. And we start the next row again with three chains. And now we will always make these little leaves here in each chain area. And each of the leaves consists of three half finished double crochet. So you yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Close, then chain three, and the next one we start like a double crochet, yarn over, pull through two, start like the next double crochet, yarn over, pull through two, start like the next double crochet, yarn over, pull through two. So these are three half finished double crochet, yarn over, pull through all the loops and chain three. And again, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, 
pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook, chain three. We end the row again with a slip stitch in top of the little leaf, the first one. Make a slip stitch again to bring the thread to the side. Then chain three to start the next row. This will be the first double crochet of the row. And now we are in this row here which means we always make four double crochet, two chains and four double crochet as the edge pattern. And the side pattern is basically only chains and single crochet. But we will look at that later. So let's start with this edge pattern. We already made the first double crochet here. So we add three further ones in this sa same chain area here, then chain two and add four further double crochet. So the edge pattern is always four double crochet, two chains, four double crochet. So this is how it should look like, four double crochet, two chains, four double crochet. Then let's have a look at the side pattern again. We always make a two chains here, single crochet, four chains, single crochet, two chains. So in detail two chains, single crochet, four chains, single crochet, two chains, and then we make the edge pattern again, which means four double crochet, two chains, four double crochet. As usual, we end the row with a slip stitch in chain three.
Then we go on with three chains. They will be the first double crochet of the row. And now we always double the first double crochet and the last double crochet of the edge pattern. So the last one and the first one will always be doubled. On the first one we already have a double crochet, which means we make a second one here. Then we go on with a double crochet in every double crochet of the last row until we reach the chain area. In the chain area we will make a double crochet, three chains and a double crochet. And then go on with double crochet in every double crochet of the last row. And remember to double the last one. So in this one here, we will make two double crochet. Then this is how our edge looks like. Then on the sides we make three chains, a single crochet, and three chains. And then we are at the edge again and repeat what we did here. So we double the first one, then make double crochets in each double crochet of the last row. So double the first one. Then double crochets in each double crochet of the last row. Then you reach the chain again, make a double crochet, three chains and double crochet there and so on. Afterwards your granny square is finished. I hope you liked the tutorial. If yes, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel.